Hey, thanks for clicking on my video and giving me a shot. I'm finally back from my weekend vacation at Pyro Festival in Ohio, and I have to say, it was uh, two thumbs up. And Lucy approves too. Not just because the festival is awesome, but because I'm back home now to take care of her. Come on, Lucy. Lucy, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to that crowd, Lucy. Listen to that crowd. They love you. So if you're new to my channel and you just stumbled on this video, I just got back from a fire and flow festival in Ohio called Pyro Festival. I'm a recovering performance artist. I have been performing professionally for 10 to 15 years. The reason I say 10 or 15 years is because I was performing for about 15 years, but 10 of those years I got a majority of my income and was making a living off of it. But unfortunately, due to the complications globally last year, 90% of my contracts were canceled and I had to resort to picking up other work. So as a result, I'm working as an in-home caregiver and just recently getting back to the festival circuit and finding jobs and more entertainment gigs are coming up now that things are opening back up again. And I had an absolute blast. I didn't get to take much video. I wanted to take more video, but there weren't very many good angles and I was just having a good time just existing and living and spending time with old friends that I usually only get to see once or twice a year when I'm on my camping adventures. So I'm used to camping for like two months out of the year. Uh, June and July, most all of that time is camping and I come back just for like Monday or Tuesday just to check on the house, feed the cat and everything like that and then get the babysitter back to watch the cat and I go out camping again. And Lucy loved it when I wasn't camping last year. She just loved the fact that I was home most all the time and I wasn't leaving her alone for so long. But she's very affectionate today. We've been giving her antibiotics, her breath doesn't smell as bad, and we're gonna get some blood work done pretty soon, maybe later on this week, and make sure that Lucy's up to par. I did manage to get a little bit of video footage from Pyro Festival this weekend, and I'll speed it up right here, but this is me walking a, uh, I think, 35 or 40 foot long slack line, and I was balancing a ball on my head, and this was after I was already done doing it for like three hours earlier that day, and I was absolutely exhausted and I changed my clothes and those pants I'm wearing were not very mobile they weren't very good for me to be walking slack lines with I think the crotch was a bit too low so I couldn't like separate my legs far enough to re-correct myself from falling off the line but I still managed to stay on the line because uh, well I was practicing for a couple hours that day and it felt really good to get the practice in this festival was amazing because there were so many fire jugglers and flow artists of all different kinds and all different calibers there and it was just very inspiring to see the kind of style that people put on different techniques. They put their own flair on it, not just with technical ability but also with comedic ability and how they sell the illusions and how they flow in front of another crowd of people. It's also really neat to see how people react to live music and when they improvise with their props rather than having a pre-choreographed thing. It's pretty interesting to watch. The festival was pretty packed. There were quite a lot of people. Unfortunately, I think there was more than enough elbow room to go around. There were certain areas where people were pretty packed in like sardines, but I try to avoid those large congested areas personally. Just personal preference. But wow, what a great time. I mean, after not camping for a year and a half and just being away from the flow arts scene and flow arts community for so long, it's really nice to tip my toe back in the water, so to speak, and get back into this sort of stuff. I'm excited to see what else this summer has to bring, and I'm also very much looking forward to working at the Michigan Renaissance Festival this year, and any other jobs and gigs that open up, I'm ready for them. I am hungry to do more entertainment jobs. But to go to Pyro this past weekend was an absolute blessing thanks to the Space Rangers. The Space Rangers and their crew were responsible for setting up the big old bonfire that they had both nights of Friday and Saturday night. I think they had some other bonfires on Thursday and Wednesday also, but I wasn't there to see them. I actually got there one day late. I was supposed to get there on Thursday, but I didn't get there until Friday because I needed to take a personal day for self-care and for the care of Lucy and the care of my house, and also the care of my YouTube channel, which I am, by the way, posting on every single day of this year, which is insane. Don't do this to yourself. If you want to start a YouTube channel, I'm all for it. You should totally do that. But I wouldn't put such standards on yourself to have to post every single day. Because it's a lot of responsibility. It's hard to keep things original and fresh if you're posting every single day. It's probably better to post regularly, maybe a week, once a week, once a month, or something like that but to focus more on quality of content rather than the quantity of the content. In my case, I'm sticking with my guns and gonna keep producing a video every single day of this year and just make it happen. I think it'll be an interesting experiment for other people out there, other aspiring content creators to look at as a proof of what it could be like if you post every single day. I think I have leveled up quite a bit throughout this year as far as my video 
and my audio and my hardware and software and everything when it comes to content creation and video production has leveled up, I think, quite a bit. My presentation still needs quite a bit of work. I need more camera angles. I need to switch things up more often. But there's so many hours in a day. There's only so many hours in a day. And I'm working between 50 and 60 hours a week as uh, a caregiver for people with disabilities. I work with three different clients right now, and that keeps me pretty busy. And I have so many other interests. I mean, I love napping whenever I can take a nap. And in fact, that's all I want to do right now. And I'm going to get off this camera right now so I can go do that. So folks, I'm sorry. That's the video for today. Uh, it's not too long, but I didn't want to ramble on too long. And it's just a recap of what I did this weekend. And that's a wrap, ladies and jelly spoons. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I do post every single day, every single day this year. And once a week, I post a weekly circus and floor arts tutorial here on my channel. So I posted one today, every single Sunday, sometimes Monday morning, you can learn another circus and floor arts trick uh, with various different props. Everything from juggling balls, to juggling clubs, to contact juggling, that the thing that David Bowie did in the labyrinth that one time with the crystal balls. Pretty cool stuff, a lot of fun to do. Or you can learn how to spin things in your finger. We call this pediddling. You can do it with anything flat, like a book, a ring binder, a server tray, or even some pillows, like couch pillows, nice flat ones. Work out good for that. Or you can even learn how to do the devil sticks. The devil sticks and I go way back. Probably my longest running flow prop. In fact, it is my longest running flow prop. It's the thing that got me into flow arts. And I break it down nice and easy for the beginner. This is all for beginner level stuff. Advanced people might get something out of it, but this is to get people started with circus and flow arts. They've done a lot of good for me over the years, and I like to share that with anyone who's willing to learn how to do it. It's a wonderful hobby, really good for your circulation, your coordination, your concentration, and other things that begin with the letter C, too. All right, Lucy's heard this spiel more than enough, and she's looking at me like she wants to go to bed. I want to go to bed, too, so I'll leave you with these words I've been ending all my videos with lately, and it's this. Remember to never give up, do your best, stay true to you, and be amazing. Whatever that means to you, just do the best you can and be amazing. Be yourself. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, Pyro. Thank you, Space Rangers. Thank you, everyone. Life's beautiful, and good night.